So it's like 32 degrees in the UK today. So I thought, why not do a video where I have to take clothes on and off constantly whilst being pregnant? That is just, it's not been my brightest idea. But I've wanted to do this video all week, so we're finally doing it now. So if you guys did not know, I am pregnant. Wait, you can't even tell. I am pregnant. So um, I have been really bad at ordering myself maternity clothes. I don't know. I have this like block in my head where I'm like, what's the point it's only for a few months like don't bother it's fine just figure out your rest of your clothes and then i broke and ordered like this and like maybe two other dresses and i've been wearing the same three dresses every single day for months and i was like okay it's fine i've only got a few months to go i can deal with this i'm 28 weeks as i'm recording this video and i broke and ordered some maternity wear <laughs> I actually saw a TikTok that linked to a dress on ASOS and then this is how the whole thing began. So today we're gonna be trying on maternity clothes. Now there's a few things I ordered that I wanted to show you guys, but that I won't be trying on. <laughs> One is some bras that I ordered. Kind of annoying because I ordered this bra, the Lindex Mom 2 pack. And this is the cool thing about maternity bras. They like unclip here. So they're bras that will be useful for me like after pregnancy as well. So you like unclip this bit and then when like your boob is there and then you can like feed and then you just clip it back on again. So you don't need to take your bra off. So that's kind of handy, right? But I ordered this one in the small. And I also ordered this Mamalicious one in the small to medium. This one fits great. It's kind of tight here. One thing I've realized is my rib cage at the top has expanded so freaking much. Like it's really going outwards here now, which means all my bras don't fit me anymore. They don't fit me here. I've gone up like maybe a size around here, maybe even two sizes around here. My cup size has changed as well. Like everything changes when you're pregnant. But yeah, my ribs are really sticking out at the top. So I'm just really struggling to find bras that fit. This one was okay. It's a little tight here, but I can get away with it. This one, even with this small fabric, I would not have been able to tie it at the back. Like this bit was so far apart. It was like one was here. There was just no way it was connecting so even though i ordered basically the same size for both of them completely different sizes so yay i also ordered some cool snoopy pants but i won't be trying those on with you and then i also ordered just like this bed shirt because i've been so warm at night time and i did have some maternity pajamas but then my dog eat them i don't know if any other women struggle with this but my dogs eat my shorts it's really weird and they managed to get them and eat them i had to open this and start using it because i had no other bedwear so this i like it's shapeless i look gross and weird in it but i don't care i'm comfy and it's easy so i thought we'd start with the dress that actually began this whole thing in the first place which is this dress right here it's really similar to the one that i saw on tiktok the girl on tiktok wasn't pregnant and she looked beautiful in her dress and I managed to find this one and I'm like that's really similar looks really cute for summer and I just have no dresses to wear I wish I'd had something like this for the baby shower actually but I didn't get time to shop that week so I was like okay this has to be really cute this is the ASOS design maternity cupped button through midi tea dress in sage green floral why the names of these products are so long I'm a bit worried about this area because I genuinely don't know what size to order when it comes to my boobs anymore I'm just lost I've never really had much going on there before and now they take control of every outfit and ruin everything. So let's see if we can get the girls in the dress and let's see how the dress looks. Okay, we're not off to a good start. I'm gonna show you the dress from afar first. But first of all, I, I have to show you this because this is, this is so annoying. Okay, look at the buttons here. They get to the end of like the, the breast section of the dress, which is also not work with bras that are for pregnant boobs, but so it gets to the end of the dress and then it moves over a whole centimeter before it goes to the other half of the, like, why is it? Can you guys see that? We start here. And then we do a whole Tom Cruise's teeth over to this side. Have you ever seen a picture of Tom Cruise's teeth? Let me show you guys Tom Cruise's teeth because you'll know exactly what I mean then. Okay, I'm going to show you something you can never unsee and it will probably ruin Tom Cruise for you forever. But Tom Cruise's teeth are not in the middle of his mouth. So imagine this is my dress. The middle bit up to his nose is like the boob section. And then when it gets to the rest of the dress, it becomes Tom Cruise's teeth and it's a centimeter out from where it should be. Yeah, that is a real picture. If you, if you ever see Tom Cruise again, his middle teeth, is in the middle of his face instead of like the middle of his teeth. Nothing wrong with that, just an interesting quirk. But once you've seen it, you can never unsee it. So good luck to you in the rest of your life and your endeavors, knowing that Tom Cruise's teeth are a centimeter out. Enjoy your new life. So this is the dress from afar. Oh. <laughs> 
It would help if I, if I zipped it up. I said you weren't getting Snoopy punts, but you've got them. Well done. So I don't, I don't hate it from afar. It has like a little House on the Prairie vibe and like, I like the sleeves. I don't usually go for this shape on me because I feel like it makes my shoulders look quite boxy, but I'm actually digging it in this dress. I've been hiding my bump for so long that I quite like a bump shower now. And it is bump showy. But I'm gonna be honest, this length, like it goes like just kind of above ankle if you look at the original picture. It's not very flattering on me. I don't have a long line. So I'm 5'8", but people are always really surprised because I don't look tall. And if I wear a maxi dress, it actually really swamps me. I look much better in a dress that like cuts either below my knee or like mid to a, to a little bit above mid thigh. That's like the best like cutoff point for me. Otherwise, I just look, I don't know, I, I get swallowed by it. And yeah, I feel like this dress is just swallowing me. It's just... It's making my face look long, but my body looks small. See that? You see that? That would be cuter. That would look way cuter. Or like this, this length. Yeah, but to be honest, the ship had sailed as soon as they did this nonsense. Look at that. That is so stupid. That's just a stitching error and it's really annoying. It is what it is. So this dress is a big no. Okay, between that and the bras, it's starting to feel like a disaster shop, but so many shops that do this i end up sending everything back let's try let's try the next dress this is the asos design is it asos is it asos i don't know like maternity midi button through rib dress with frill hem and sand so another long name here's how it looks a bump do be looking cute it's a faux bump faux bump that's 52 centimeters but i liked this i liked the color of it i thought it was a nice casual dress and yeah let's see how this one looks okay so here we go with dress number two i feel like this one's good i don't think it's the most flattering color on me i don't actually love the frill um like what is it doing i don't know i kind of feel like a little cupcake but i like how bumpy it is it has a good amount of bump showage let me show you guys see what i mean that's that's a nice that's a nice looking bump right there like i like that i think that's cute i like how bumpy it is it's like soft and casual it, i don't feel like it would be too warm it's a bit of like a stretchy material so i've got a bit of give in it and i don't know i think that's cute i think you can tell by the way up until recently baby was coming like out this way in the past two weeks it started to come out this way i feel like the like figure i had before now like my front profile is completely different so i look like i don't look the same here which is kind of like it's gonna happen i'm pregnant like it is what it is but yeah i like that i think that's pretty cute let me know what you guys think in the comments below but i think it's a keep i think i'm gonna keep this one this is a good casual dress okay we've had a success i feel better good 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 well done well done this long long dress name okay we're sticking with a casual theme for now i do have some nicer stuff coming forward but this is like a maternity short sleeve tie waist romper in stone and i like play suits like this i just i find them comfy i thought the material on this looked quite good as well because like i don't love like garbage material because i just feel like it doesn't you wash it once and then it's just gone forever the reviews of it aren't fantastic it was so huge especially in the legs that it made them look Frumpy. Okay. Does run a little bit large. But the reason I got this is because I thought for the price, the fact that it was made with 100% cotton and cotton and hemp was really good. There was no viscose. There's no like plastic materials on this. It's just pure cotton, which one is just way better environmentally. But two, I feel like when you're hot and you're pregnant, you want something that can breathe. So I got this just for that reason. I am worried though that it's not gonna look good based on the reviews. I mean, she looks cute. She's looking good in it. If I can look like her, I will be happy. But I mean, she is a model with a full bump. So probably not. But let's give it a go. Okay, so I can kind of see what they mean about feeling like a bit big and frumpy in it. You're always in danger of feeling that way when you're pregnant anyway. I find that I have days where like, I just love my bump and my body and I'm like really happy. And then for literally no reason at all, the next day I will be like, I really miss my body. I feel frumpy, I feel big, I don't like this. And you kind of flick between. It's a very fine balance. And what you wear is a big part of that. So here is how it looks. It is quite like 
It does make you look a little big. Or not big, just bigger than the other outfits have so far. So I don't, I don't love it for that. But I was like, okay, what about if I just like, because these, but it ties in the sides. And I think tying in the sides is never flattering. You want to tie at the front because then the, the material gathers here. Instead, it's gathering a both sides, which basically takes away any opportunity for like going a curve, you know? But I was like, okay, what about if I accessorize it? Could you wear it like a bit lower with like a top underneath? And then like maybe go for a belt type situation. I'm not sure about black. I thought maybe I'll match the top, but not feeling that. You could kind of go cream and like dress it up a bit. I'd, oh my gosh, I'm feeling so like much bigger on the top. Like, it's given me pregnant safari. <laughs> it is more well made than the other things that I've ordered so far, but I don't know how to make it look good. I don't know, what do you think? I think I'll keep it. I think I will keep it. I'm kind of keeping it because I like the material. I don't mind being pregnant safari girl. Like I can deal with that. That's fine. And it is better made, but then the bar is literally on the floor because the other dress was Tom Cruise's teeth. But I think we'll give this one a tick. We'll keep this one. We'll keep this one. Okay, next we've got the maternity collared button through midi smock dress in white. Again, I feel like this might be too long for me, but I just thought it looked really comfy and classy and I feel like you could dress it up or you could dress it down. So I kind of liked that it had that flexibility. It's not like anything I would usually order, but I wanted it. So we're going to try this one. So I'm glad I put the little, you know what? I'm going to stop pretending this is a top. It's one of the maternity bras, but I feel like you could use it as an inner top. Like it's cute. So I'm wearing it. I'm glad I put this on for the other dress because look at this. This button is holding on for dear life. Look at that, look at that. This button is like my interest in Sims. Like it's been stretched thin. So this is just a case of me. It fits me everywhere else though. This is me not know knowing how to order for my boobs, but also I feel like my size hasn't changed a lot, but it's changed a lot here and here. I'm really struggling to get things that fit. So what I was thinking instead is, wait for it. I undo the button and then I add a belt to hold the whole thing together. And then we kind of get like, this sort of look, which from afar looks like this, which I think is pretty cute. And despite it coming to that awkward length, this is better on me. This, this feels, the length is working better for me. It gets a slight bit shorter. And yeah, I like this. I feel grown and classy. Oh, that's the bra. <laughs> I probably wouldn't double bra it. One thing I don't like, and I really hate it when clothes do this. Do you just see all these like bits? Like all of this like crap everywhere. That is just like cheaply made stuff. Just does that. And like around the buttonhole is just a completely frayed mess. Like look at that. Like if I put it over the black, can you see that? It's just frayed, horrible mess. I also checked and um, this material is 100% polyester. So that's the reason it's doing that. This is why I like cotton. Cotton makes a difference because also I feel like this dress, the material is like, if it was cotton or linen, it would be so much nicer. It would just be such a nicer dress. And I think when you're paying 36 pounds, I feel like you can expect cotton rather than 100% polyester. That's just my thoughts. So I hate the material of the dress, but I do like the dress. I like the style of the dress. I don't know, maybe because I don't wear this kind of thing. It feels quite like grown up and classy. Like I like this a lot. I think it looks good. I just really hate the material. And um, this buttonhole is just, I can't put the button in there. I mean, look, this is, it's actually torn already. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's, it's completely torn on the inside already. Like, look at that. How is it that broken? This frustrates me because I feel like, you know, if you're paying 30, 40, 50 pounds for a dress and you're buying from ASOS, it shouldn't surprise me because it's still fast fashion. You expect a higher level of quality than if you're ordering from like Shane or I still don't know how to say that or Romwe or, you know, those kind of sites. I feel like you're expecting a better quality when you order from somewhere like ASOS. So then it's disappointing when it's the exact same as it would be if you order from those sites. You've just, instead of paying nine pounds for this dress, I've paid 36 pounds and it's still bad quality. So I just wanted to say that, but this dress is a keep for me because I like the cut enough and I feel like with accessories, it works. So it's a keep. Which brings us on to 
Florence London Maternity Kimono Sleeve Midi Dress in Sage Satin. Again, I just thought this looked really pretty. I thought if I get invited anywhere where I need to wear something like, oh, you heard me panting. Give me a sec. Oh, it's hard changing in and out of clothes all the time when you're pregnant. I just thought it would be nice to have a dress that I can wear that's a little bit dressier. I don't know if this color is going to be very flattering on me. I don't suit pastels, but we'll give it a go and just see how it looks. It's good to have an option in case you need to go somewhere nice, right? Wrong. I hate it. <laughs> I'm not nitpicking. I just... Let me show you guys what's annoying me about this dress. The seams here and here are just completely sticking out. So it's not a great start. Like I know you can just cut that off, but like, why is, why is it there? Why is the seam just completely on the outside? Why is that a thing? I don't know. It's tighter. Yeah, I just, I knew this color wasn't gonna work on me. It's giving me bridesmaids. It's giving me low budget Bridgerton. It has good bump showage, but other than that, I, I don't like it. I don't know, it's just, I don't know. I think I have a bit of a mental block against these kind of like very feminine flowery dresses. One thing I don't like is the material here is kind of meant to sit over the band, but as a result, there's not much structure on top because the bottom bit's so flowy. I think the top bit would have benefited from structure, but it's kind of meant to hang over the band. But then the material isn't equal. So like this bit's okay, but then I don't really know what this side's doing. It's not working. I'm gonna be honest, I hate the material. I don't like the material that this is made from. It's made from 100% polyester, that's why. It's like that silky material that if you catch it once, the dress is ruined forever. And it's quite warm. It shouldn't be, it's so loose. But it's, this is a hot dress to be in. And I don't know, I just, I'm so freaking warm. <laughs> I'm so warm. I don't know, guys. What do you reckon? I'm almost like, is it worth it just to have a good backup dress in case I get invited to a formal event? Also, hello, delusional. What life do I have where I get invited to formal events all the time? I don't, but I don't know. I just... I don't like it guys. I don't like the cut. I don't like where it finishes. I don't like the color. I don't like the material. And I'm just never gonna wear these kind of formal. It feels like aunt goes to a wedding or bridesmaids, but the bride wanted to make sure that she stood out. That's what I'm getting from this. So for me, it's a no. This has not been very successful so far. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get out of it. It's so freaking warm. Oh my gosh. Oh, I need to look at what I'm wearing next. <laughs> I totally forgot. So next we have this ASOS Design Maternity Knitted V Kami in Oatmeal. I'm gonna have to find some shorts. It kind of looks quite long. I'm gonna see whether to get shorts that go up to here or like lower shorts. Oh, <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh! Oh, I'm not putting that on. No word of a lie. Is it the... No, it's not the bug. No word of a lie. This absolutely stinks of vomit. Like, overpoweringly smells of vomit. Like, holy crap, that is a vomity top. This is the top. I'm not putting it on. It kind of looks a bit shapeless anyway, if I'm being honest. Oh! Has that been returned by somebody else who threw up on it? Why does it smell like that? Seriously, why does it smell? It feels like somebody else got this top, was sick next to it, let the top sit in it for like next to it for a week, sent it back to ASOS. They didn't even notice. And then they just sent it out to me. That's so gross. Yeah, it doesn't have a tag. It doesn't have a tag on it. I think this has been returned by somebody else. That is so disgusting. I'm sorry, guys. I can't try that on. I feel like if I try this on, I will be sick. I'm so glad I'm not in the middle of morning sickness anymore because that would... Oh my gosh, that's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. That would have set me off. I w no, I don't. I was going to say I wish you could smell through the camera, but I actually don't wish you could smell through the camera. Oh, the fact that I'm this warm in this dress and then I'm smelling that is just... It's not good for my pregnancy. Seal that up. That should never be allowed ever out in public again they need to just you know how they like quarantine nuclear waste quarantine that that is the grossest smelling top i've ever just taken out of a bag and smelled that is bad okay that's a disaster vomit top 
Big no-no. Okay, this one I know is Rogue. This is the ASOS Design Maternity Tiered Smock Tie Back Play Suit in mixed print. After I saw the other play suit, I just really kind of wanted to get on the play suit hype. So I started looking for more play suits and I thought this looked kind of cute on her. I like the idea of play suits. Then I forget if you want to pee, you've got to literally take the whole thing off. I thought it could be cute and it's summery and it's really warm. So perfect. Let's try this on. Please don't smell like sick. Okay, this kind of, it feels like I'm giving you guys a 4D cinema experience because last one smelled like sick. This one kind of looks like sick. Let me show you. This is the play suit. Kind of feel like a fairy. Here is how it looks. I don't like, I feel like it's very high. I don't know what it's trying to do here. I can't work out the situation here. If you look at the one online, am I being crazy here? There's not that much color to it. Like it has a bit of color, but it looks more or less monochrome, but with a, a few little bits of green in there, right? It's so, it's like, a, Grandma's, someone's raided every one of grandma's curtains and sewed them together. They just stitched them all together and now they're wearing them. That's what I feel like. It's very unflattering. I think it's because I don't really know what this bit's supposed to, does it, does it sit under my boobs? Does it sit over them? I don't know. You know when they deliver cars or they, they're like designing the car and when they have to move it, they put the camo print on to like, so you can't work out what shape it is. Yeah, so when they're designing cars and they have to move them around, they put this on them so you can't really tell exactly what the bodywork of the car is like and it's it's trying to hide the bodywork of the car this play suit does the same thing because it's like where do things end where do things start i don't know am i pregnant i don't know i can't tell anymore it's trying to hide that i'm pregnant but also hide that i like fashion i genuinely don't know what it's doing because like it cuts low so it's like yeah you're a woman but then also it gives you the frame and body of a seven-year-old so i don't know what it's doing i don't know what it's doing but i do know it's going in the bag and it's going back to asos grandma will be so happy that her curtains can go back up and she'll get her privacy back chef privacy will be going straight back to her now again i got this one which is the hope and ivy wrap tie dress tie maxi dress in top floral it only came in this color and i just thought it looked really nice on her and again if i get invited to some wonderful formal event i'll have a rig out which is why i ordered it because i'm like that's helpful right so it is the most expensive thing i think that i've tried on so far and it's hope and ivy so it's not like asos design let's see let's see what it's like okay guys let me just pull over this chair because I am now age 65. Wearing this dress, I've got to look after the old back legs and hips. Oh, you know what? The top half is like a crop. If it ended here, it would be so cute, right? If it were just nothing from this point, and then I just had like something else on, it, it would look cute. Let's just go on a divergent for a second. There is like a trend on TikTok where it places colors around your face and it decides whether you're like winter, summer, autumn, or Spring. And they're like different color palettes. And you can get like a bright autumn or like a dark winter. I don't know. There's a bunch of different ones. I have done these so many times and I can't figure out what I am. I just can't figure out what color palette works for me. It is really frustrating. But now I know it's not this one. So at least we're learning. I think this dress looks so cute on her because it suits her skin tone. It's really playing beautifully off her skin tone. It's making her like glow. She looks great. However, on me, mm -mm -mm, I'm all wrong for this. Also, how is hers crossing? Like, look, how is hers doing this? And mine, I'm glad I've got the inner bra in. Otherwise, we'd, we'd be on a different video platform. That's all I'm saying. This is it from afar. And... I really like the pink color, but this, it just, it just drains me. It just absolutely drains me. It's not even that bumpy. Like there's not much bump showage going on here. I like to show the bump. I do like to show it and I, I can't do that. The length is too long for me. Like even with heels, even with heels, even with heels, I would be completely swallowed by this. Look, like if this was like a dark blue, Yes. If this was like a forest green, yes. Or like a wine. I think they're the colors that I suit. I don't suit whatever this is. I feel like if you have this dress, 
You probably have a lot of scented candles and a crystal ball. I don't know. You are really into horoscopes. I'm not any of those things. So it just doesn't suit me. I don't know. This as a crop, I would be so all over. I feel like in a smaller section of my body can take this color. But the whole thing. And no, I am about to do a presentation on candle making. And I, I, I'm not going to make a candle in my whole life. I'm not going to lie to you. So for me... It's a no. This is such a disappointing shop. And the problem is the color. I need to and stop ordering things that aren't my color palette, but also know what my color palette is. So we've got a chicken and egg situation going on. We're going to move on to the final dress, which I'm now realizing color-wise might also drain me, but we'll see. This is the River Island Maternity Ribbed Midi Dress in beige. It is £19, which is pretty reasonably priced. And this one I liked because look, here with the little shirt and trainers, casual, casual, casual. But I feel like here you could like add some heels, maybe like a gold clutch and kind of dress it up and then it could be an evening dress. Not that I can wear heels right now because my feet have gone up a size. So none of my shoes fit me apart from I wear these Birkenstocks every day because nothing else fits on my feet. But in an imaginary world where I can wear heels and my feet aren't swollen and sore all the time, I could dress it up. It is 96% polyester, 4% elastane. However, I will allow it for this dress because it's clearly meant to be a figure hugging dress. It doesn't make sense on a flowy dress, but on a figure hugging dress, I will allow it. This is the final one. Please save us. Please, please save us because this has been a disaster shot. River Island is all on you. Hashtag not sponsored. Oh my gosh, can you imagine this video was sponsored and I'm like, it smells like puke. Okay, please in the comments tell me I'm not the only one that hates these things. If it had no straps at the top, yeah, Adam, I need a way to hang them up. If it's got straps, so bring them in. That aside though, I like this. I do like this. I like that it has like a nice sheen to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has like a stripe pattern with like a little sheen and it's dead bumpy. Look at that. That is a nice amount of bump showage, which I love. I want to show off, show it off. We only got it for a while. I don't know if I got the size right because it's kind of tight here and it goes like right up into my arms. I feel like I have to be like, oh, it's better. But other than that, I'd probably still keep it because it's fitting me everywhere else. The Snoopy pants are too tight, which is why, which is why they're doing that. I won't be wearing it with Snoops. But I think other than that, so you've got trainer look with little bag, which is cute. And then on a night time, you've got imaginary heels that you can wear that somehow your swollen feet fit in. And then you look nice. It's almost, it, it's both. Get you a dress that can do both. I don't know. I like it. I think this one is a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But I think I suit like a form fitting dress more than a flowy dress. It just fits my vibe better. This part of me, by the way, hurts so much. I can tell it's been pushed out and it's just painful. Do your sides go back to the shape they were at before? Or do they just like, do they not do that? I don't know. Does a muscle hold them in? I don't know. It wasn't the most successful shop. So I think we should do a little yay versus nay counter. This bra was a nay. This bra was a yay. These were a yay, even though they are actually too tight for me. I got them in a medium, but my hips have just really grown. So two nays, one yay. Yay. Nay. Yay. Just yay. Only just yay. Yay, but don't like the material. Nay. Nay, because you're vomity. Gross. Nay, because you're also vomity, but in a different way. Nay, because I just got the color wrong. And yay. Okay. Yay wins seven to six. So that works out that just over 50% of the stuff that I ordered was good. It's not the most successful shop, but it ain't bad either. It's better than 50-50 odds, which you can't argue with. So there we go. I will leave the links to these in the description below. They're not affiliate links or anything. I don't have like an ASOS affiliate thing. So they're just regular links, don't worry. You can let me know in the comments if there's any that you think I got totally wrong. Those are the ones that I'm choosing to send back. And also this has kind of really made me realize the quality of stuff. Even if I'm paying, instead of paying like in the 10 to 15 pounds, like fast fashion versus the like 30 to 40 pounds fast fashion, the quality is not good in either. Like the quality doesn't get better. So if there's anywhere that you would recommend for me to shop, 
I don't buy clothes very often, so I prefer to buy something that's going to last and is a good material. Let me know in the comments below. Always open to hearing your guys' suggestions. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will also just little... This is like when I just can't stop chatting with you guys. I did plan on doing more like pregnancy content, and I think I've put this off for a week, and I kind of realized what was going on. I think I'm quite anxious more anxious about pregnancy than i realized and in particular i'm anxious about making a load of pregnancy or baby content and then something bad happening and then it all just being there on my channel as a constant reminder so i know i've talked in videos and in streams about like wanting to do a video on like things that i didn't expect about pregnancy or what made me change my mind about pregnancy because i was very afraid of pregnancy and childbirth and babies before and the reason those videos aren't here yet is because i think i'm kind of dealing with the anxiety of the pregnancy going well so just wanted to flag that with you guys i do still want to make those videos but it will have to be at a time when it makes sense mental health wise for me so yes just wanted to clear that up with you guys and i will see you in another video thank you so much for watching bye also sorry you now know about tom cruise's teeth apologies